going to take you through one of the state of the art facilities in virtual reality in the country and uh, this particular lab the virtual reality lab was developed in the department of industrial and systems engineering at iit kharagpur under the primary leadership of uh, our director and uh, professor j mighty of the industrial and systems engineering department and along with him uh, there were different other faculty members including myself together we have developed this particular lab so i now request professor uh, j mighty who is currently the head of industrial and systems engineering department and also the principal developer of this uh, particular lab to say a few words describing this lab thank you professor mishra this laboratory is a part of safety analytics and virtual reality laboratory it was established in the year 2016 under the mentorship of professor parthpratim chakraborty our director uh, it was uh, conceived uh, primarily for accident research and virtual prototyping including simulation uh, as accident cannot be created or experimented in industry so our ultimate aim was that whether we should have some kind of facility where we can develop the industrial system and also create the uh, different kind of accidents and it is equipped with high end computing projection system immersive system tracking and navigation system apart from this this laboratory is having other accessories or supporting equipment and it has a lot of application in particularly in the era of industrial iot and we can go through this particular facility thank you thank you so much let me first introduce to you mr kranti who is currently the phd student in the department of industrial and systems engineering at iit kharagpur under the supervision of professor j mighty and uh, let me just ask you kranti uh, could you please explain about uh, the infrastructure uh, of this particular lab particularly the main components that we have over here yes sir. sure so uh, we are having uh, different kinds of tracking and uh, head mounted display kind of equipments which are which basically used for the virtual reality experiments so we are having uh, different kinds of data gloves so these are the data gloves which are used to track all the uh, used to capture all the motions related to your finger so this this particular data gloves is having 14 sensors so it, it will capture all the finger motions and different wrist motions related to uh, whatever user movement will do similar kind of sensors are there sir piezoelectric sensors these are piezoelectric sensors similarly we are having uh, this hand tracker so you just have to mount this hand hand tracker on your wrist so that whenever you will move certain object or whenever you will capture and move certain object you, it can capture what with what force you are capturing that object similarly what is the yaw pitch roll this kind of motion also this this will capture Uh, apart from that we are having a particular uh, uh, head tracker so what we it will do is i will show you how to use this uh, head tracker along with uh, hmd so while using the hmd in inside this hmd you can actually visualize means actually you, you can feel that how you are immersed inside that environment so whenever you are walking in that environment whenever you are moving your head in different directions so the head tracker will help you in tracking your head movement so these are the equipments basic equipments for the virtual reality then uh, uh, this is the main uh, equipment with which you can feel uh, the immersiveness of the virtual reality which is the most important part in the virtual reality so while wearing this uh, particular hmd inside you can see that you know you, you don't have to see outside anything so everything every in developed environment you can uh, see and feel inside it whenever you you will be walking inside you can feel that you are immersed in that environment environment and you are walking inside that environment apart from this we are having a eye tracker so these are basically used for the purpose of situational awareness now it is trending in the uh, marketing research so it can capture your eye movement whenever you you will wear this and uh, it will be connected uh, connected to a particular computer so you can feel that whenever uh, where is your gaze direction so particularly in a safety domain safety domain if you are working then one person if he is looking at one hazard situation or different kinds of um, uh, accident scenario then you can uh, automatically detect that what that person is looking at and which is the most uh, high uh, severe accident that is going to occur 
this, these are the equipments we are having inside our virtual reality lab. Thank you, Kranti. So, could you uh, talk about some of the applications of virtual reality, particularly in the industrial context, and more specifically, something that the lab is interested in? Okay. So, um, uh, virtual reality's application is uh, very wide. It is mainly used in the industry, mining industry, healthcare industry, and manufacturing industry. In mining industry, basically, it is used for the uh, to train the underground coal miners whenever they are going to a very complex area they should be aware of the things that are that they are going to face inside that underground coal mine similarly uh, if a health surgeon is going to operate on a particular patient so remote kind of surgery you can perform with the help of virtual reality and apart from that in manufacturing industry different assembly automation simulation and how to accident accident simulation kind of thing we can perform in the manufacturing industry apart from that uh, we are uh, nowadays fire workers are also firefighters are also trained with the help of virtual reality how to tackle with the emergency uh, emergency evacuation situations wonderful yes so could you please uh, take us through one of the scenarios yes, particularly something that you have Yes, sir. So, uh, we, uh, so we are uh, currently working on a accident development scenario. So we have developed a particular factory simulation, fact workplace uh, scenario where we uh, experience some of the accident situations. So I am taking you through the accident uh, workplace. I am taking you through the workplace. You can see, visualize that this is the complete workplace we have developed in a. Uh, in a certain span of time so what we did is for this we have to um, uh, collect some uh, uh, collect some particular data how to develop this 3d models so in the first phase we de develop the 3d models you can see all the 3d models that is developed with the help of uh, the softwares like solidworks then google sketchup then maya this kind of software used for the uh, 3d modeling then after the 3d modeling we uh, focus on the texturing uh, why texturing because texturing gives you the real feeling of the 3d models that are present in the environment because we virtual in the virtual reality you have to mimic the real environment so we have to give the textures particular textures for the particular uh, objects then we uh, did all kinds of uh, all kinds of simulations uh, with the help of a game engine that is unreal engine we imported all the models to that then according to our operation uh, according to our requirement we created different kinds of accident scenarios and different kind of uh, simulation standard operating procedures those are followed inside this particular environment so this is the uh, complete demonstration of the project we are working on so Pranti, let me ask you that uh, what is it that you are able to see inside this particular hmd so if if uh, if we will wear this uh, particular hmd so we have created uh, uh, the complete environment in the desktop there are two kinds of uh, vr that is one is your display based vr uh, projection based vr and second is your computer vr desktop vr so what you can do is you can you see this complete environment in a desktop parallel you can see this uh, complete environment in a vr but in the desktop vr you cannot feel that immersiveness in the projection vr that will that you will feel so whenever i am wearing this particular hmd so i am feeling that i am particularly walking i am feeling that i am walking inside that environment so if i will move in different direction i can see that this is the uh, different equipments are present this is the uh, facility uh, uh, facility design in the particular workplace so um, if if given to a operator if operator will perform some operation i will be the i will be acting as a operator so i will be going to the particular operation designated workplace and uh, perform my operation so i can do by myself and i will act as a particular user inside that environment so that's great so thank you kranti and uh, as we have seen that uh, with the help of virtual reality instruments infrastructure and so on like the hmd the different vr glasses and so on one is able to emulate and get trained in different different scenarios uh, in uh, be, even before the actual scenario is encountered so as kanti was saying there are different different scenarios where vr can find applications for example uh, for uh, training in the mining scenarios healthcare where the doctors can perform some kind of uh, doctors can practice even before actually performing the sur surgery and so on thank you kranti so let me now ask professor maiti is there anything else that we should know about the vr facility over here yes this vr facility is a unique one and i also thank kranti that he has given good explanation to this 
to add to his explanation i want to tell you that uh, there are different uh, stages for uh, ultimate vr uh, that modeling and simulation and tracking first one is that we have uh, the high end uh, system computing system basically for the image image generation and which is basically projected through a projector or a set of projectors will be good one mm, at present we have one projector so first is image generation second is image projection and then there is there comes the once the industry environment or the actual environment is created and its uh, component and every other things then working is simulated synchronized then the ultimately how to interface with the user so we have so many uh, equipment uh, what kanti already shown to you primarily the uh, hand gloves then head and hand tracker and then uh, using all those things and the navigation system with the sensors you will be basically immersed in the environment and then uh, whatever you want to do uh, as per pre planned program that you can do that particular kind of things and from application point of view what i can tell you that it is uh, it is enormous particularly although we have started uh, this lab from the accident causation modeling and simulation point of view and that uh, this kind of work can be done in any kind of industries but apart from this suppose the virtual, virtual prototyping in the area area of product development and in medical sis, uh, healthcare system particularly from the uh, operations point of view the pilot uh, who is basically running the uh, plane aircraft that for uh, his or her training point of view and hazardous systems like uh, uh, oil and gas mining chemical uh, still uh, manufacturing uh, even in the when working or developing something below the sea uh, that mean under the uh, water so um, it's huge and uh, that's that is what <laughs> you want to tell thank me. you professor maiti for adding to the information that we already have and uh, so as we have seen that there is enormous potential of the use of virtual reality so it can be used for varied applications starting from uh, training of pilots who are running the aircrafts uh, for underground mining uh, coal mining or other types of mining under work, uh, underwater works uh, high hazardous situation hazardous working situations. at height right. uh, so many things can be uh, mani, done here and also for mm. to train the fire safety workers and, and so on and driving driving particular on road driving uh, train drivers so there are many different many types different. of applications of virtual reality mm. and uh, so for depending on the type of industry the virtual reality uh, environments can be created uh, for the specific type of problem that is being addressed and so it has lot of applications uh, but, for industrial uh, uses uses particularly in the era of industry 4.0 for industry 4.0 and industrial iot virtual reality has lot of applications so with this uh, um, i would like to thank once again professor maiti and mr kanti uh, thank you so much there is very another very exciting uh, equipment which is the 3d laser scanner which is also used in vr facility so this is this one this instrument uh, that you can see in front of you um, so i would like to uh, ask uh, kranti as well as uh, avideep uh, could you please explain about uh, this particular instrument how it works uh, well, uh, this is a digitizing device uh, we can say 3d laser scanning uh, it what it does it captures the environment data if we don't have any kind of 3d model or any 2d drawing of any workplace or any kind of uh, environment so we capture the digitized form by 3d laser scanning and we can get directly 3d models or any kind of cat drawing through it so it is a very handy thing we can go place it anywhere uh, and we can get the 3d data so this is a plus point of it it is a, uh, used for this uh, regeneration of any kind of model or any kind of 
Okay, so moreover, I want to add that if you are having complex or intricate shapes in a particular uh, location which you want to model, so if you are not getting proper data for that, how to model it? So what you can do is you simply take this equipment and place at that particular workplace. It will scan up to 500 or 600 meter distance. So it can capture all the components present in that particular workplace in the form of a point clouds. So ultimately, uh, the point clouds will be connected through a uh, software that will give you the output as a 3D model. So instead of uh, instead of giving more time to 3D modeling software and developing the 3D models, you can directly use this and obtain the 3D models as a final product. Great. Basically, basically, something like uh, we, in order to create the actual industrial environment, the 3D modeling, what is required in VR models. So we will, we, we can just use this equipment in order to get the 3D model, get the 3D point clouds, and then through the software or through program, get the 3D environment, and straight away using the uh, that VR. Yeah. We generate the virtual reality scenario. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.